host Ponderay Scenic Byway and to Lake Ponderay. In this video, we'll take a look at the places to stay, eat, and discover one-of-a-kind artwork. So let's get started with a personal favorite, shopping. Oh, the shopping in Sandpoint. With a population just about 7,000, Sandpoint still enjoys a small town charm. Sandpoint also prides itself on having some of the best shopping in Idaho's panhandle. You'll find it on Sandpoint's Fifth Avenue. Unique items for the home, fashionable and trendy jewelry, one-of-a-kind artwork crafted by local artisans, handcrafted furniture that reflects Idaho's timber heritage, boutiques with chic clothing, exceptional artwork and novelties made from semi-precious stones, or just gear for outdoor fun. When it's time for lunch or dinner, indulge. Dining in Sandpoint with more than 60 restaurants offers a wide variety of cuisine for just about any taste and size of appetite. Fine dining along with a selection of pubs, taverns, nightclubs, and cozy bistros round out an afternoon on the town or an adventuresome day trip on the byway. One of the premier camping spots on the byway is the Sam Owen Campground. Located on the Hope Peninsula, just two miles off the byway, the campground is a wonderful place to spend a few days or in an entire vacation next to the shores of Lake Ponderay. The Sam Owen Campground has 80 camp units, potable water, picnic shelters, and flush toilets. An RV park next to the campground has grass sites and all of the amenities nestled in the shade of pines and cottonwood trees. Be sure to make time for a family day hike. The Hope Peninsula, deeply shaded by tall pines, is a special place where every member of the family can reconnect with nature. If you'd like to experience camping in the wilderness with just a touch of added comfort, the Huckleberry Tent and Breakfast is the place for you. Leave the cell phone in the car and be ready to light the kerosene lamp at night. There is no television, electricity, or internet here. Each 12 by 14 foot plank floor canvas tent features a queen size bed, a small wood burning stove, and comfy turn of the century chairs. Each tent site has an outdoor kitchen where you can prepare your own lunch and dinner in a pioneer fashion. The rustic kitchen is complete with a hand water pump, wash basin, and a gas fired cook stove. Okay, so if sleeping outdoors is just not your style, then the Merriweather Inn is the place to stay along the byway. The inn is located in the town of Clark Fork. The inn is a perfect base camp from which to launch your own day adventures along the byway. The cozy rooms, some complete with kitchenettes, feature comfy beds, internet, and satellite TV. Restaurants are within walking distance just a few blocks from the motel. The Ponderé Shores Resort located right on the byway is the place for a fun-filled summer vacation. The Ponderé Shores Resort is a timeshare resort with condominiums available for rent to the public by the day or by the week. It could be said that you won't spend much time in the fully furnished condo because there is just too much to do outside. The resort's marina puts you on Lake Ponderé in just a few steps. And what better way to enjoy the majesty of Lake Ponderé but with a peaceful outing in a canoe? You won't go hungry while driving the Ponderay Scenic Byway. Clark Fork, right on the byway, is a mountain community known for its great small town hospitality. If you'd like to rub elbows with the local folks while enjoying some of the best hamburgers west of Montana, then drop in at Mom's Place in Clark Fork. Mom's is a popular watering hole for the local folks. Don't be shy, strike up a conversation. You may discover where some of the hidden gems are tucked away on the byway, for example, or where the best fishing holes are located. A real dining treat along the byway is Trisha's Place in the town of Hope. One way to describe Trisha's Place is where friends gather to enjoy good food and good times. Set in an eclectic decor, the warm and inviting dining experience is wonderful. Along the Ponderay Scenic Byway, local artists magically transform the magnificent beauty of northern Idaho into art. And one of the artists is Barbara Janus. She calls her place simply Studio by the Lake. Barbara is known for her expressions of nature, landscapes, and water, which she believes is the spirit of life. Barbara's studio and gallery is open to the public. A few miles from Barbara's studio is the David Baranski Studio. David is a passionate sculptor working in stone and wood. David has plied his talents since 1975, creating one-of-a-kind pieces 
for individuals and businesses across America. The first peoples to call Northern Idaho home were the Kalispell Indians, also known as the Lower Lake Ponderays. Today, local folks continue to proudly celebrate tradition and their heritage by reliving and sharing a time long past with historical reenactments. Understanding what life was like for the Kalispell is shared through modern day hands-on demonstrations. Among the first white men to venture into what was to become Idaho were fur traders. Today, volunteers recreate what a fur trader's encampment was like with tools, clothing, and equipment that made it possible to survive Idaho's rugged mountains and harsh winters. The best way to experience the byway's rich history is with a visit to the Bonner County Museum. Located in Sandpoint, the museum's exhibits colorfully illustrate Bonner County's history. The museum's pride point is the David Thompson exhibit. Thompson, a Canadian explorer and map maker, was the first white man to discover Idaho's panhandle. Volunteers have painstakingly recreated a historically accurate David Thompson's boat encampment complete with a plank canoe. Idaho's vibrant frontier history is brought to life in the museum's other well-crafted exhibits. Dioramas, artwork, and historic artifacts tell the story of Native Americans, pioneer settlements, and the history of logging and the coming of the railroad in northern Idaho. Idaho has 30 scenic byways encompassing more than 2,000 miles of roads. Idaho's scenic byways are your personal invitation to discover the best of Idaho. To begin your own personal voyage of discovery of the Ponderé Scenic Byway and other Idaho byways, visit us on the internet. We're at IdahoByways.gov.